Hey guys, I'm back with part two of my how to make a montage series. In this video, we're going to be going over sound effects and pan crop. The first thing you're going to want to do is get the gun sounds per tree you're using and a wish just like this. So just drag that into After Effects. So this first clip is Evictus. I'm going to drag that in right here. So I'm going to go to this first clip, press U on the layer so I can see the keyframes. And then we're going to want to go to the sound, right click it, go to time, time stretch. If it's a slower song, I'll set it somewhere around 120, 125. It's a faster paced line like this, I'll probably do like 110. Then you want to double click L on your keyboard to see the waveform and line this up with the shot. Like, just like that. And then what I usually do is I add bass and treble. Make the bass 55 and the treble negative 57. And then also add reverb. And then just keep the default reverb settings. So it should sound like this. Chris with that heat Purple passion. I'm going to turn that down a little bit, maybe minus two each side. It's with that heat Purple passion. A little bit more. That heat Purple passion. And I'm also going to drag over my whoosh right here. And then line that up with the shot. Like that. that heat Purple passion. I'm going to turn that down a little bit as well. And I'm just going to copy and paste that on every top. So the first clip is done and it should sound like this. And then you can also add the rechambering sounds for each of the shots. Copy this, paste it on there. Follow out the rechamber sound layer so you can hear it. Right, line it up with the rechamber. Cut it right there. I'm gonna do that for each shot now. Now you should have something that sounds like this. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second clip. So I finished the second clip and it sounds like this. Now we're going to move on to the pan crop. What you want to do is go to layer, new, adjustment layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this adjustment layer pan crop. And then add, go to effects and presets and add transform. And then select this little square right here, which will turn on motion blur for that layer. So what we want to do is go to the shot right here. Go two frames before the shot, keyframe the scale at 100, go on the shot, then keyframe it to about 120. And then you want to make a graph similar to this, like that, then apply that to the two keyframes, so it's like this. Then a few frames after, it doesn't really matter, something like that, put it back to 100 and then make the keyframe to the opposite. Hey, he purple passion. Then you can go ahead and paste this on or onto every shot. So at the end, you should have something like this. Chris with that he purple passion. Get from the back down. Then she asked me, why you cast? I know a red coach. Like was bragging. That's on guy, I go hard. Put that on my squad. Purple passion. Get from the back down. Then she asked me. So then I usually go back and I add some stuff in between each kill. So right over here on the beat, right where it rechambers, 
I'm gonna go two frames before the keyframe. The keyframe at 100. Go four frames ahead of that and put the scale to around 110. Then you make a graph similar to this. Highlight those two keyframes and apply. So it should look like this. Then I'm gonna have it slowly zoom out back to 100. So I'm gonna go keyframes ahead, keyframe it back to 100. Highlight these two. Then have something kind of like this apply. So you should have something like this. And then over here on this beat right here, and go two frames ahead, keyframe 100 again. Go four frames ahead of that. Set to around 110 again. And do the same thing like that. But this time, instead of having it slowly zoom out, uh, stay zoomed in and then change this keyframe to 110. Then just change that. That. So you should have something like this. And then you can also copy these and paste them onto the beats, just like that. Now I'm done with both clips, and you should have something similar to this. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. The next tutorial is going to be on how to record and edit cinematics. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.